Alan, football has given you some wonderful moments in your life. Can you give me an idea of the emotions that are running through your body now? Hmm. Um, the worst feeling, to be honest. Um, no, it's it's painful. It hurts. It's been a great experience for me. Um, I've enjoyed it in a weird sort of way the eight weeks, but we've got no complaints. I can't come here and say that we were unlucky today uh, or we were unlucky in the season because we never went down today. We went down because we weren't good enough over 38 games. That's a, that's a simple fact of the matter. And um, big changes need to be made at the football club. Um, players need to go out, players need to come in. Whether that's the right time to talk about that now, I'm not too sure, but um, yeah, it hurts. Is it even more galling, bearing in mind the other three clubs all lost? It was in your hands. Well, I always thought that if um, if we come here and, and we won and even got a point, then I thought that would be enough because I know a lot of people were making um, noises about the Man United team, but I always felt any team of Man United could go there and get the result. And we had the chances first half and we didn't take them. Second half, we weren't a threat. I don't think we bothered the uh, the goalkeeper at all in the second half, but we had the chances first half and didn't take them. And When that happens, you get punished. You say you've not been good enough all season. Where? What, what's been the problem? Everything. Conceded too many goals, not created enough, not scored any. I scored many. Um, so it's, that's, that's been a problem all season. And um, when, you, when you get in a rut, it's, it's very, very difficult to, uh, to get out of it. But I've just said to them in there, as a dressing room, you can, we can make all the excuses you like. Uh, I wasn't good enough, Mike Ashley's not good enough, Chris Hewton, Kevin Keegan, Joe Kinnear. Forget that, it's what's in the dressing room that hasn't been good enough. All of us. We're all in it together, um, and it's been a problem um, for my time is, is here to, is to try and score goals. And it's, it's proved that again today, and it's, it's, it's been the same problem all season, to be honest. But no complaints. Congratulations to the, uh, to the other teams who have, um, I don't know whether it's congratulations or not, but who have stayed up. I don't know whether congratulations is the right word, but um, well done, done for them. And they'll build in the Premier League, and this football club will have to build to get back up. Does it need root and branch surgery from top to bottom? In my opinion, yes. You've got to be careful as well. that It's not a case of bouncing straight back, but perhaps even going straight through the championship. Is it that bad? Well, I think if you ask me that in, in a couple of days, then I can, I can give you a, 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 probably a different answer. But um, I mean, now isn't the time to, to look at that. But um, there's, there's big changes need to be made. Um, and as I said, um, from, from top to bottom, big mistakes have, uh, have been made. And um, we're now paying the price for that, everyone. Do you want to be the manager next season? Ask me that in, in a few days, I think. As I said, I have even thought about it, Jeff. I know people will, will say, well, you, you have to have thought about it. I haven't. Um, I haven't had time to think about it. But it's a magnificent football club. You've seen our following today. They deserve better than, uh, than what we've given them uh, all season. Um, and I just hope they get the success they deserve because they're magnificent supporters and uh, the players know they've been playing for a magnificent football club. But you're so emotional now, surely if you're off, offered the opportunity to try and correct it, you would take it, because you are this club through and through. Surely there's not any doubt in your mind, is there? Well, first and foremost, I haven't been offered it, and, and secondly, I haven't even thought about it, as I said. Um, I love the football club, and um, the more people that can get in that love the football club, whether that's me or whether that's someone else, then um, it's a great club. It needs rebuilding, um, but the time is not right to ask me, I don't think, it, whether I'm the man to do that. You've always said you're a Geordie through and through, black and white in your veins. You look almost close to tears. Are you surprised how much this hurts? No, I knew. I'm not. Um, I'm not close to tears. I'm. I'm disappointed. I'm angry. I'm hurt. Um, am I surprised? Yes, because I thought we could come in and, and, and make a difference. Uh, we've worked very, very hard to try and do that, and the players have, have given everything they've got. <laughs> Unfortunately, sometimes that isn't enough, and, it, and that's been the case. And finally, what would you say about those fans who you went across to at the end? They're the best, they're brilliant. And as I said earlier, they, uh, they deserve better than what's, what they've had this season, last season, season before and, and, and before that. So whoever comes into the football club, um, it's got a hell of a big job on their hands. Alan, thank you for your time. Thank you. Cheers.